a very warm welcome to one and all the topic for today discussion is lithosphere its origin types profile and the various components of lithosphere so the lithosphere is the rigid rocky outermost shell of the earth formed by hot molten material and rich in organic matter the science that deals with the study of earth is known as seismology it into three parts crust mantle and core crust is the outer part of the lithosphere which is further divided into sial and sima withering is the breakdown of parent rock material into the smaller ones the types of withering occur in nature are physical withering due to heating and cooling water wind etc chemical withering is due to hydrolysis oxidation carbonation reactions occur in an environment biological withering is mainly due to the living organisms when plants are responsible for the biological withering is known as phytosphere and when animals are responsible for the biological withering is known as zoosphere the process of development of soil is known as pedogenesis and the study of formation of soil is known as pedology these are the pictures of various type of withering that is physical withering chemical withering and biological withering some of the important factors that affect the formation of soils are active factors like temperature humidity moisture or organisms and basic factors like parent material topography and time so the soil profile soil profile is the study of different layers of soil which are superimposed upon one another so the different layers of soil can be divided as the top layer of soil is known as o horizon mainly organic or litter layer that is the topmost horizon containing organic matter it is the layer where the organic matter formation starts beyond o layer is the a horizon mainly rich in humus and other organic materials which are mixed with mineral particles the color of a horizon is mainly dark and the texture is porous next b horizon rich in mineral soil layer consisting of clay silt and sand porous in texture which contain large amounts of iron and aluminum compounds a and b together are called solum and solum along with o horizon is known as top soil and it is very important to maintain the top soil just to increase the crop production then c horizon incomplete weathered rock poorly developed and impermeable last d horizon consists of unweathered parent rock forms base of soil profile and the formation of soil in an environment is very very slow process it takes 1000 years to form 1 cm of soil this slide shows the detailed or diagrammatic view of the different layers of soil the soil can be classified first on the basis of its mode of formation soil can be classified as residual soil which is found at the place of their formation that is weathered soil and transported soil when the soil particles is taken away at other places by some other agents for example colluvial soil is the soil which is transported with the influence of gravity alluvial soil through running water glacial soil through moving of glaciers and eolian soil when the wind is responsible for the transportation of soil particles from one place to another then on the basis of its nature and composition the soil may be classified as black soil and the properties are ideal for the production of cotton crop formed due to solidification of lava 
black due to components of iron and aluminium mainly found in Deccan Plateau, high moisture retention level but lack in phosphorus, nitrogen and organic matter. Then red soil, it is formed due to decomposition of ancient crystalline rocks like granites rich in iron and magnesium which cover the areas like Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Southeast Maharashtra deficient in nitrogen, phosphorus and humus but rich in potash suitable for rice, millets, tobacco and vegetables. So the next soil is laterite soil which consists of clay rich in iron and aluminium hydroxide. Soil is found in typical monsoon conditions found in Western Ghats, Eastern Ghats, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Kerala, Odisha, West Bengal, Assam. Poor in nitrogen and minerals and it is best for the cultivation of tea, coffee, rubber, chinkona, coconut, rice and millet. So the next is forest and mountain soil found on hill slopes formed by deposition of organic matter very rich in humus but deficient in potash, phosphorus and lime best suitable for the plantation of tea, coffee, spices and tropical fruits. Next is arid and desert soils sandy but poor in organic matter found in arid regions in Rajasthan rich in nitrates and phosphates. Then saline and alkaline soils found in drier parts of Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Punjab, Rajasthan and Maharashtra formed by accumulation of salts which make the soil infertile. Next pity soils, large amount of organic matter is present in these type of soils and they are mainly found in the districts of Kerala. Marshy soils, they are high in vegetable matter found in Nadran Bihar, coastal parts of Odisha, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal and parts of Uttar Pradesh. So the components of properties of soil. The first property of soil is mineral matter or inorganic matter which is found approximately 45%. The various components of mineral matter are gravel where the particle size is more than 2 mm in diameter. Likewise coal sand, fine sand, silt sand and clay where the particle size is less than 0.002 mm in diameter. On the basis of its particle size, the clay has maximum water holding capacity, then silt, then sand and then gravel. The soil air is a variable component but approximately 25% is there in the soil. Soil water, it is also variable approximately 25%. The types of various soil water are capillary water which is only available water to the plants, combined water which is combined chemically in the form of hydrated oxides, hygroscopic water which is tightly bound inside the soil particles, gravitational water which flows down deep the water table through the force of gravity and runoff water which flows down the slope known as surface water and meets the nearby ponds, rivers or streams. Then organic matter which is present approximately 5% that various types of organic matter are litter that is the undecomposed organic matter, duff partially decomposed, humus fully decomposed and the process of formation of the organic matter from the litter is known as humification. The soil nutrients is divided into mainly two categories macronutrients and micronutrients. Macronutrients which is available to the plants in maximum amount and the total macronutrients are nine in number for example calcium, sodium, potassium, phosphorus, nitrates etc and micro which is required 
by the plant in less amount and the total micronutrients present in soil is 7 like boron, copper, nickel, zinc, molybdenum, etc. On the basis of soil nutrients, the soil is classified as eutrophic soil means nutrient rich soil and oligotrophic soil means nutrient deficient soil. Then soil organisms, they can be classified as macroorganism where the organism size is large like rodents, rats and rabbits, mesoorganism with medium size, annelids, earthworms, snakes etc and microorganisms which cannot be seen with the naked eye like microorganisms, bacteria like rhizobium. This picture shows the various nutrient deficiency occur due to micro or macronutrients in a plant. Soil texture, the first type of the soil depend upon its texture is sandy soil. It is light soil, consists of 85% sand, 15% silt and clay. High porosity, loose soil with low water holding capacity. It is less fertile and not rich in nutrients. Then clay soil, 50% clay and 50% silt or sand. Cold or heavy soil, very fine grain material with very less air spaces, fine pore spaces and have high water holding capacity. Then silt soil, minerals like quartz and fine organic particles are present in silt soil, mainly consist of 90% silt and 10% sand. Good porosity but poor in nutrient supply. Loamy soil 40% sand, 40% silt and 20% clay. Best soil for plant growth, root penetration is good. Sandy loamy soil consists of 70% sand, 30% clay and 30% silt. Moderate, coarse textured, good water holding and good aeration. So thanks for the patient listening. Please do like, share and subscribe my video and do see my next upcoming video that is the extension of lithosphere which consists of the topic soil pollution, pollutants and its control measures. Till then stay at home, be safe and be happy.